Hi, welcome to the table with Tony Day. Um, sadly, this video is not going to be a good one. This is about the tragedy that happened in Fort Worth Saturday night, um, early Sunday morning. I mean, early Sunday, Saturday morning. Um, a Tatiana Jefferson was shot and killed in her own home by a Dallas Fort Worth police officer who was responding to a welfare check. On Saturday, early Saturday, Friday night, early Saturday morning, a neighbor has spotted um, Tatiana's house and her door was open was a jar, it was halfway open. And the neighbor said that was unlikely. He hasn't seen anybody coming in and out of there all night and the door was open. So what he did was he called a nine emergency hotline and told the police to do a welfare check. The police come and instead of doing what they're supposed to do, and I'm not even a police officer and I know this, if you're doing a welfare check, you make yourself known that you're the police and you're here to check out, make sure everybody's okay. That's not what they did. They parked on the side of the house without their sirens and they started searching through the backyard. Police officers saw a shadow and as you see her about to roll up the blinds, he shoots her dead right in front of her eight-year-old nephew. They were playing video games. This woman was only 28 years old. He has been... He... he Quick Monday, he has been and um he has been arrested and he's been charged with murder. He bonded out and his bond was two hundred thousand dollars. Um the police chief and everyone seems as though they've been acting accordingly and they've been and they're saying that they want justice for Tatiana. The only issue that I have is the first thing that they made sure that they said was that she had a gun in the house. They made sure before anything else, she had a gun in the house. And I don't only blame Dean, the person that killed Tatiana. I blame the whole police force down there in Fort Worth. The whole fucking state of Texas, period. But especially in Fort Worth. Like, I don't understand where... You talking about training your officers, but I've never in my life seen like what is this shoot first and ask questions later? Like bad enough we had to go through the Bolton John situation. We go through the Tamir Rice situation. You go through the Trayvon Martin situation. You just keep going through this. And it's like nothing. It's like it just keep happening again. It keeps happening over and over and over again. You get what I'm saying? And it's sad for me to say this, but the only way that anybody's going to feel any type of fucking way is if when it starts happening to their children, when it starts happening to their loved ones. Then that's when I'm starting to think maybe... The police will get it. You, We sit here and we say that all lives are equal, but apparently it's not. It's not. I've just never in my life seen somebody to do a welfare check. And you got your guns out. Like, it's been like, if, if you're that scared, you do not need to become a police officer. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, it, it just doesn't make no sense. We have another slain a young black woman in her own fucking house. In her own fucking house. So you mean now to tell me you're not even safe in your own home anymore? It's fucked up. And I get tired of having to talk about this. It's keep happening. If we're not getting shot down, then it's some... Motherfucker that gets mad because he don't win a don't win a video game or his mom tells him no she he can't have 
borrow the car for the weekend. He wants to go into Walmarts and all types of places where mass amounts of people are and start shooting people. Then we have to deal with the motherfuckers coming into our neighborhoods killing us. Like, it just doesn't make any fucking sense. And y'all sit here and we say that it's not racial. Oh, it's always, oh, every police officer ain't like that. And every, well, shit. There's enough of them out there that this that this keep happening. It, it, it keeps happening. Like, what the fuck? You got here in Georgia, a man running around off of his bipolar medicine, running around butt-ass naked, and you got a police officer that killed him, shot him dead, and he was naked, so he had no fucking weapon. That's what the Black Panthers used to do. They used to come out butt-ass naked and still end up shot. It ain't cool. It's not fucking cool. And it's not safe for police officers because what's, what's happening is, what, what I don't think pe what people are realizing is, you no, know, it ain't me. I'm not saying that. But what's happening is, y'all doing this, y'all put, it's just as well that y'all are fear for y'all lives. Other people fear for theirs as well. You, uh, you get what I'm saying? So, it's, it's going to get to a point where I hope it doesn't get to. It's going to get to a point where it's going to be soon as they start coming up, pop, pop, pop. I, I don't want it to get to that, but that's the way it seems. You know, like so many of these situations could have been avoided. It could, it could have been avoided. Maybe the cops don't need guns. Like, it's just, I've never heard of somebody trying to do a welfare check and the front door wide the fuck open. All you had to do was just a, hey, anybody in here? Police, open up. And I guarantee you, when she saw flashlights out there, she already knew the police was there. Anybody would see, you see flashlights coming through the window, you would say, well, what, 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 what the cops know here? And her nephew was standing right the fuck in front of her. So we have another two life, uh, one life that's going, and one life that, I'm not going to say that's ruined, but that's scarred. That's some scarful shit. I couldn't imagine me playing video games with my auntie or my cousin, and she go to the window and she shot dead. What type of shit is that? By a fucking white cop. And they don't care. The only reason why I truly believe that they're acting out like this and not doing like this because they know they fucked up and they know and I can sense it. I can already sense it. Them motherfuckers down there in Fort Worth ain't playing with the police department. They are not playing. I don't, I, it was one of them, I was listening, you know, when I was coming home from work, I was listening to the, um, I just played it on the um, playlist, listening to the YouTube videos, and it was a um, a pastor down there. And matter of fact, you know, my name is Howard, and he had, you know, a Howard University shirt on, and he was preaching, and he was talking some shit, and it was another. I mean, talking. He was talking, and it was another pastor that was out there, and he was like, "Don't paint this sister as no villain." If you paint her as a villain, you won't have hell to pay. And that's the way we need to be. Not trying to say it need to be a race war. Not trying to say it need to be a civil war against the police. But enough is a fuck enough. It's not cool that they get, a, get to go around killing people and don't have to answer for it. Because that's their job. It's pretty much they have a license to kill. And I get it. And I get it. Oh, trust me. I get it. You want to go home safe to your family. And this, that, and the third. But that's the job you chose. If you fear for your life like that, you need not to be a fucking cop. Like, I, I'm probably not going to do it now because I'm probably too old and I ain't got time for it. But, like, if I was maybe about maybe five or six years younger, I would probably be joining the police force. I would. But my thing of it would be, and it's probably easier said than done, but my thing would be de-escalation. Things that don't have to go awry the way that they, the, the, so that way things don't go get bigger than the way they were supposed to be. Like, this didn't end in a shooting, surprisingly, but at Walmart here somewhere in Georgia, 
A man was walking outside the Walmart. One of the employees told the police to get the shoplifter. The police officer just jumps on this man. So the man and the police officers, they get into a tussle and they end up tasering the man, take him, in the, take him inside and come to find out he wasn't even the man that did anything. He was innocent. But they're charging him with obstruction because you don't fight a police officer. Fuck all that. Fuck that. I understand what they're saying, you don't fight a police officer, but it could have been a better way he could have handled it. It could have been a better way. Listen, um, could you come inside with me for a minute? Could you come inside with me for a minute? They're saying that you... Or get the cashier to identify the person that said that they took something. If it's that fucking important. Now, this man sitting up here with an instruction charge. I had an instruction charge before, but they threw that shit out. But that's a... I'll tell that story a whole other day. But <laughs> it's just... Like, that could have been avoided. Majority of these situations could be avoided. With the Orlando Castile situation, that situation could have been avoided. You know, I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm sick of these cops getting off for fucking up. When you make a mistake. Now, the argument can be, were, did they mean to kill? In certain situations, like the Laquan McDaniel situation, I believe that that motherfucker should not see the light of day. Jason Van Dyke should not see the light of fucking day. But they only gave him three fucking years. And the judges was all happy in the courtroom. Oh, yeah, we're going to give you three days. And I want to thank the families of both sides. The Fuck all that. Y'all saw what he did to Laquan. Y'all seen that. 16 fucking times. And he was crossing the street. The same thing with the um, Paul O'Neill situation. They just busting at him for stealing a fucking Jaguar. Yeah, he stole the Jaguar and I'm not saying don't chase his ass down. Hell, I'm not saying don't taser his ass. Don't kill him. I'm not saying don't take taz his ass up. But all that? Killing this man? Then the cop walked away. Yeah, I shot him. Because he shot and he didn't even shoot at him. But yet he's still in office because he betrayed the threat. Chicago is a dirty fucking city with that police department. That police department is dirty as fuck. They killed a black, they assassinated a black panther in his sleep. What type of bitch shit is that? But, you know, like, my heart and my condolences once again goes out to Tatiana and her, us uh, uh, Tatiana and her family. It does, my, my heart goes out to her eight-year-old nephew. He's going to need, probably need therapy for the rest of his life, because Lord knows I would. Um... To the um, Fort Worth police, I appreciate y'all for standing up and being and taking responsibility for this. But I think more than Dean needs to go down for this. I think the whole department and their tactics need to go down for this. Because it doesn't make no fucking sense. When somebody called and to do a welfare check on a non-emergency line, there was no reason for that man to be going, for y'all to be searching outside the house. When y'all could have just knocked on the fucking door. Same thing with that, with Amber Geiger. Same thing to fuck with her. As a matter of fact, well, and even with that situation, if you knew that you're a cop and someone's in your home, why not call the cops? You was in safe, why not call the cops and let them deal with it? I don't understand. Like, you as a police officer, and I even know this, if something's going on with you, you can't be the one to solve it because that's a conflict of interest. Like, well, I'm glad they charged him with murder. Um, he needs to be, he needs, he needs to be, he needs to be in jail. He needs to be in jail. Like is, I don't think I don't think he attended. I mean, I'm not. It's not. That's even hard to say. I don't think he attended to harm to, to kill anybody. Probably not, as they always say. They never attended to kill anybody. But this point of the matter is, you did. Same thing with Amber. You did. That Pamela, 
Turner person, that, that whole situation, he needs to be in jail for murder. That's a whole nother video. But his ass needs to be in jail with be in jail for murder. These cops need to start going down for murder. Not manslaughter, not murder. Murder. Because if you did that to their asses, them motherfuckers will either shoot you down or, may, or hang you high in public. Or execute, yeah, may pretty much execute you. Jordan, the Jason Edwards. Jordan, what's his name? Jordan Edwards? Fleeing from a party. Like, it, 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 it's not to take away from Tatiana's story, but I hope, I hope to God that maybe with this situation, hopefully things get better. Because we need justice for a lot of fucking people. And I hope they all get justice. I hope they all get justice. I hope they all get justice. Because one thing you never see is you never see them when the mass shootings going on, or this, that, and the third. You don't see them going into the suburbs and like and, and doing it. Like it's just it's just it's just a messed up situation. I can't even structure this video right because it's just it's all over the place. But I will say that, you know. It was good to see some transparency, and then to see him th that know the fact that he's a, that that he is being charged with murder, and does because that's exactly what the fuck it is is murder. So, um, if you like this video, please like, subscribe. Um, your opinion, if you have any opinions on anything that I spoke about, please do. Um, once again...